Hello researchers, how are you? I hope you are fine and doing well. In this video, I will be demonstrating how to install Docker Engine on Ubuntu 16.04 64-bit edition. Now before we go with the installation part and the deployment part and some configuration part on Ubuntu 16.04 regarding Docker Engine, let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is meant by Docker and what is meant by Docker Engine. Now you can see on the screen I have officially opened the official website of docker.com that is products docker hyphen engine. So it says Docker Engine runs on Linux to create the operating system environment for your distributed applications. Now I will be roaming towards the website in somewhat a later seconds. So let us first of all get ourselves aware regarding what is meant by Docker and some of the crucial information regarding Docker. So let's start. Docker is an open source project that automates the deployment of applications inside software containers. Quote of features from Docker web page, Docker containers wrap up a piece of software in a complete file system that contains everything it needs to run, code, runtime, system tools, system binaries, anything you can install on a server. This guarantees that it will always run the same regardless of the environment it is running in. Docker provides an additional layer of abstraction and automation of operating system level virtualization on Linux. Docker uses the resource isolation features of the Linux kernel such as C groups and kernel namespaces and a union capable file system such as AUFS and others to allow independent containers to run within a single Linux instance avoiding the overhead of starting and maintaining virtual machines. Linux kernel support for namespaces mostly isolates an application view of the operating environment including process trees, network user IDs and mounted file systems while the kernel C groups provide resource limited including the CPU, memory, block IO and network. Since version 0.9, Docker includes lib container library as its own way to directly use virtualization facilities provided by the Linux kernel in addition to using abstracted virtual interfaces via libvirt, lxx that is Linux containers and system MD and spawn. So if you go into more details of Docker, original author was Solomon Hikes, developer Docker Incorporation. Initial release was done on 13th March 2013, about three years ago. The stable release is version 1.11.2 which was released on 31st May 2016, about 14 days ago. It is purely written into Go programming language and the operating system is Linux but make it sure that it only supports 64-bit addition. And the type is operating system level virtualization, license is under Apache License 2.0 and now let us come to the official website. Now the official website says, which I have already given you, so let us go to this product overview. You can see a cool environment and a cool image over here which says of the apps, the binary oblique libraries, docker engine, operating system and infrastructure which means we will be using our laptop as an infrastructure, we use Ubuntu as an operating system and we will be installing docker engine and it will contain middleware as libraries and over there you can install your apps. So you can say Docker Engine is one of the most rapidly growing open source projects on GitHub and it is available as open source download or commercial support subscription. So let us go to this why Docker you can, you can find what is Docker, customers, pricing for government, for products you can have different types of products so I will be meticulously covering all these types of products and toolbox in my later videos. So our the partners you can find AWS as Amazon Web Services, IBM, Microsoft, Partner Portal, Community, it is an active community, company, careers and even open source. So even if you click on docs, you can find much better information of docs over here. So it's a very clean website. You can find all the information regarding toolboxes, Docker Cloud, Docker Machine and everything over on this website. Even you can click on training, you can find more training and more resources over Docker. So instruction fed leading and self-paced learning. So everything is available for Docker. So now let us proceed to the part B of this video in which I will be demonstrating how to install Docker Engine or Ubuntu 16.04. So before we start with the installation, let me first of all tell you that uh, here is the official website that is releases.ubuntu.com slash 16.04 which is code name Zaniel Zaras. So make it sure that you download this image that is 64-bit PC AMD 64 desktop image. So don't uh, uh, worry about that is 
AMD, it will be available, it will be installed and it will be fully compatible on even Intel Core i3 or i5 or dual core based processors. So it is better that you download this image to so don't download 32 bit PC. So let us go to this uh, VMware. Now you can find that I have already installed Ubuntu 16.04 and the installation is same as I have already done in my video that is of Ubuntu 16.04 desktop edition. So same the server based installation is there. So there will be not even a minor difference between that. So let me log in into the root. Uh, so you can see that there are the steps. So before I go with the installation, so let us follow all these steps. So make it sure that your system runs the latest Docker engine into Ubuntu 16.04. The first point is currently requires 64-bit version of host to run well. Second, it requires to download images of containers frequently. So it requires a good internet connection in the host. So I recommend that at least your internet speed should be up to 2 to 4 Mbps. And make it sure that the machine supports virtualization technology and virtualization support is enabled in BIOS. So you can go to your uh, setup, either you can having that is UEFI BIOS or a simple BIOS. So make it sure that virtualization is enabled. So now let us support, you can find that uh, uh, Linux kernel version 3.8 is there, but I will be using much more higher version of kernel into this. So now first of all, login into the root. So give this command su space minus and let me go with the password. So now you can see that the root has logged in. So the next thing which I would like to make it sure that I'm running the good architecture and what is the kernel version. So this is arc. So now you can see that it is 64 bit architecture. So if it is again, you can say Linux or 32 bit. So make it sure that Docker engine will not be installed and uname minus R will give you the Kurgan version. So you can find that uh, Docker requires 3.8, but I'm using 4.4.0 hyphen 21 generic. So let us start with updating the system. So give this command that is apt hyphen get update. So this will take a few seconds to update so that we will be able to install the Docker engine. So now let us, uh, after the updating, we will be installing Docker engine. So we will be first of all adding the repository into the, with the new JPG key for our Docker repository. So let's wait for this apt hyphen get update to get uh, updated. Now you can see that it has connected. It will take some time because it's a fresh version. But once you go with some more versions, you can find uh, more good releases into it. So it is done. Good enough. So now what we have to do is to first of all add the key, the JPG key so that we can install the Docker. So copy this command. So all these commands and all the websites which I have demonstrated in this video will be available downstairs. You can just click and you can use it. So now you can see that it has requested the key and the key has been processed. So now what we have to do is to add the JPG key in the machine under the APT source list. So uh, you can use this nano editor to open this file and to create this file. So let us paste it and let us press enter. Now add the following line to this file, which is deb https apt.dockerproject.org repo Ubuntu Xenial main so that we will be able to crawl the Docker engine into our Ubuntu Linux. So press control X, press Y and press enter. Now what we have to do is to update the system. So again, issue this command apt hyphen get update. So after that, it will be updating. Now you can see that the Docker project is being updated. It means everything is going on fit and fine. Now, if you have the previous version, that is if you have the Linux kernel that is 3.7, so you can issue this command that is uh, Linux, you name this, but otherwise I will be showing you this command. It will say that the latest uh, uh, is already there. So make it sure that uh, if you have the older version of uh, kernel, you can issue this command, but otherwise no need right now. You can see over here, let me issue this command and show it to you practically. Let me paste it. Now you can see that it is saying that it is already in the latest version and it is set to manually installed. So no need to worry. Now let us start with the main part. Let us issue this command apt hyphen get install docker hyphen engine. So now you can see that it is uh, it has crawled the image and some of these suggested packages are there that is dependencies and it requires 18.3 MB to download and it will be consuming 100 MB of the hard disk space. So let's press Y and press enter. So after it gets installed, we will be installing some add-on softwares and then we will be issuing some Docker scripts to install and then we follow up with the next part. Now you can see that it will not take much time. So a good broadband connection I am having, so that's why it is facing no problems. So make it sure that you have one to two or two to four Mbps of broadband connection because it requires high speed. So it will take a couple of seconds more. And after that, it will be installing Docker engine into my Ubuntu machine. 
Yes, so now it is unpacking and after that it will be installing. So you can see that the latest version that is 1.11.2 which was just released 13 to 14 days ago is being there. So the current latest version is being downloaded and installed in my video right now. Yes, so now the Docker engine is installed. So now what we have to do is to in install the official Docker script to install the latest Docker engine. So let us issue this command with the wget. So if you don't have the wget, so you can use this command. But I'm having wget in my machine, so I don't need to issue that command. So now it is it is showing that the Docker command already exists on this system, but uh, we will be issuing this script now. So after that, what we have to do is to add the user to Docker group. So I'm having a user that is Anand with my name. So I will be using that only user of my name it, in order to add the user to the Docker group. So it is crawling the JPGs. Everything seems normal. And now you can see that it is installing this Docker engine with this command. So it will take some time, but not much time. So Docker is one of the current areas of research into this. So I recommend that you should use Docker. Yes, so now you can see that the Docker is being installed and now I will be issuing this command itself so that I can be adding the user into the Docker. So let's press enter and now what we have to do is to start the Docker services with this command system CTL start Docker. So let us try this command and let us see the status if it works. Yes, so now you can see that it is active and running. So let me come out. So now let us check the version first of all by issuing this command docker space minus v. So the latest docker version that is 1.11.2 build b9f10c9 is being installed. So now let us run this container. So let us give this command docker run hello hyphen word. So in a few couple of seconds it will be showing us the hello word. Yes, pulling the FS layer. So at this point of time, the much better broadband connection you have, the much better results it shows. So now you can see that it has given hello from Docker and it shows that the installation works correctly. So which means that everything works fit and fine. Now let us issue this command. Sorry, Docker images. So hello word images being there. So let us uh, manage the Docker by issuing this command that is Docker space PS space minus A. So to show you the status, this is the process ID. So if you want to uh, stop the Docker, you can say that is Docker stop and you can write down the process ID. If you want to remove anything that is Docker RM this process ID, I've given all these commands. And if you want to pull Ubuntu image that is Docker pull Ubuntu. So it will be uh, pulling up the image of Ubuntu also. So it is uh, showing you that it has pulled the image. So it can take some time. Yes, so now you can see that it is downloading 48.65 MB of an image. So let's wait uh, to get it complete. It will take not much time because I'm having a high speed broadband connection. So it can take up to one to two minutes. So uh, in my next coming videos, I will be focusing more on Docker. I will be focusing more on the toolboxes. I will be making more videos on that. So this is just an introductory video that how to make the Docker environment and what is actually meant by Docker. What are the basic system requirements for the Docker to have the environment into your couple of machine. And believe me, everyone, it's a vast, vast word of making a Docker on this machine. And so there are millions and millions of commands also. So rest, you can go to this website, you can take the tutorials and you can use as such tutorials over there. So almost 50% has been downloaded. You can see in less than 30 seconds, I have downloaded 27 MB. So let's wait for the next couple 30 seconds. So all the commands, again I repeat, will be available downstairs or at my Facebook page. That is facebook.com slash expert researcher. So almost there.
Yes, so now you can see that it has downloaded and now it is extracting. Yes, so now you can see that the it image is there. So let us verify this image by issuing this command that is docker images. So now you can see there are two images that is hello world and the second is Ubuntu. So in this video, I have demonstrated how to install Docker engine on Ubuntu 16.04, 64-bit. So I hope you like this video. So do give this a like, do share with your friends, do give this a shot. Thank you so much for watching.